one. It is Vlogmas day 12 and I've been slacking the last couple of days. Usually on the days I'm slacking, it means that I'm usually editing and just doing boring activities that just, I don't even know what to film. There's nothing to film. Anyways, right now I'm currently getting ready. We're about to leave here as soon as Lucian wakes up from his nap. We're gonna go and we need to go get my stepdad a gift card for Christmas from this place that we're going to. I don't wanna reveal it just in case anyone in the family is watching, uh, but we need to go get my stepdad a gift card. So we're gonna go get that. And then we're gonna go to Costco and Sam's today. So we're actually getting out of the house today for once in our lives. <laughs> Before we leave, while I'm waiting for Lucian to wake up, I need to make my list my Christmas list. I haven't made it yet. Usually it's just all in my head, which doesn't go well as we get closer to Christmas. I also need to figure out what kind of bags, wrapping paper, uh, boxes, those types of things that I need. What I still need to get, what I've already gotten, I need to get my list together. So we're going to work on that right now uh, because I think I'm almost done. I think this gift card and a gift for my dad, which I don't know we're getting them yet. Um, those are going to be and my stepmom. Those are my last ones to get. I know what I want to get my stepmom, so I need to go there today too. But anyways, okay. Anyways, before we dive into my Christmas list and check it twice, I wanted to mention the sponsor for today's video because I feel like this is such a good gift idea, so I wanted to mention it now. This video is sponsored by My Heritage, and if you haven't heard of My Heritage before, My Heritage is the leading global service for family history research and DNA testing. Trusted by 90 million users, My Heritage not only makes building your family tree a simple and enjoyable activity, it also gives you access to powerful tools that can help you research your family history and grow your tree, especially with features like instant discoveries, where you can add an entire branch to your tree with a click of a button. So I I was able to expand my family tree further than I've ever expanded it before. Also, you can search over 19 billion historical documents on MyHeritage to find records of your family members. So for me, it was so fascinating to see census records, for example, also where my family members were born, where they died, uh, people I didn't even know about or where they lived, where they came from. It was amazing. Also, I came across photos of family members I didn't even know existed. And the photos are actually my favorite part of the whole My Heritage experience. You can take old photos and enhance, colorize, and even animate the photos. So if you love old photos, you're going to love this feature. It is so cool. It is so fascinating, but also I get hooked on it. My dad and I are both hooked on it. We have hours long conversations about who's in our family tree, what the story is, when they were born, where their grave is located. I don't know, I could jab my jaws about this for 500 years. That's how much I love this. Anyways, right now you can sign up for a 14 day free trial and enjoy all of my Heritage's amazing features. And if you decide to continue your subscription, you'll get a 50% discount. So you can click my link down in the description box to get started on your 14 day free trial. All right, so much for getting to my Christmas list because Lucian just woke up, so <laughs> let me go get him. All right, hey everyone, we're in the car now. <laughs> we got our lives together uh, and the list, by the way, that we were trying to make, it's still in my head. So we're just gonna go off that. We're hoping for the best. Hoping we don't forget anything. I think, I think I got it. Cause we only have a couple more people left to buy for and that's it. So for right now, we're headed to go get a gift card for my stepdad and then we're gonna go to Costco and Sam's and that's what we're doing. So uh, I'll see ya when I see ya. Fifty bucks for that one. What's the one that we need? The little. What do you mean? You say good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It is Vlogmas Day thirteen. Wait, let me. My greasy fingers. Last night, kind of fell off the face of the planet. So I was gonna do a haul when I got home, and it just never worked out. Oh, I'm making sure Lucian isn't waking up. What is this? This little rat tail. <laughs> okay, but anyway, so here we are now. I was gonna do a little haul, show you what we got from Sam's and Costco. First and foremost from Sam's, Dallas got this whole Reese's, I don't even know what this is, the mother load of all Reese's, <laughs> all these half pound cups. Let me open this, I wanna see what it looks like. Oh, it doesn't show it, but this is what they look like <laughs> in comparison to my hand. You knew Dallas would get these too. So anyway, 
We got three of these half pound cups. Got this romaine lettuce for salads for lunch. So we eat our factor meals at night. We still have to figure out what we're gonna eat for breakfast and lunch. So for lunch, I like doing salads. So I got these romaine heart situations and some cucumbers. And I got these, you know me, mini peppers. These are my favorite things ever. And if you remember when I was pregnant, these things, I should have named Lucian mini pepper or something like that because these were my favorite. It's all I wanted when I was pregnant. And now they just don't taste the same. Like no, like no one told me, no one warned me that when you're pregnant, I knew you crave foods, but I didn't know that foods tasted different. Like every food has the most flavor, everything. It's like a flavor explosion all the time. My mouth is actually watering thinking about it. And then as soon as I had them, it was like everything was dull in the world. Like nothing tasted right. Like not right, it just didn't taste as good. So um, I keep trying to make these happen and they're just not happening anymore. Like they just don't, they're not the same everybody. But I still get them because, you know, gotta get my vegetables in and whatever. Okay, anyways, is that all we got from Sam's? Just veggies and I think these Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh, and formula, but it's upstairs already, but we got some baby formula. Lucian's currently doing the little combo feeding situation because my supply went down. So that's TMI for a lot of you. But anyways, moving on. Oh, oh, then we also got this from Sam's, of course. Peanut butter, more peanut butter for Dallas. I eat peanut butter too, but not to the extent Dallas eats it. Uh, so we got two of these, it came in a pack of two. Oh, and we also got some bananas. Let me, let me get them out. We got some bananas. All right, so moving on to Costco. We got a couple things from Costco. Got some Cascade. This is real exciting. Dishwasher liquid. And also this free and clear Kirkland's brand uh, laundry detergent. So it has no scent, no nothing. We use this for everyone's clothes. But I use, uh, what's the one for darks? What's it called? You know what I'm talking about? Wool light, I think is what it's called. I use for all of our black clothing, just for Dallas and I, not for Lucian. We use this for Lucian's clothing. Anyways, Dallas got this. I can't have it. It has wheat in it, but it looks and sounds delicious. This caramelized onion dip. Oh, this is making me drool. Like this is the kind of stuff that I'm sad that I can't eat. Also from Costco, we got my favorite Canyon Bakehouse gluten-free multi-grain bread. I love this stuff. I talked about it before. This is my favorite gluten-free bread. I just feel like it tastes like, I don't know. It's just really good. I have this big old thing of diapers, size three diapers with the bunnies on it. These diapers are my favorite, hold on. Word on the street, I don't know if this is true, but rumor has it, Kirkland's has the same manufacturer or similar manufacturer to Huggies. So they're like comparable apparently, I don't know, or allegedly, I don't know. But they seem similar, I'll put that out there because Lucian did the best with Huggies. We just didn't do as well with Pampers. I tried Target brand, I tried Honest brand, I tried, which I liked Honest actually. I did like the Honest brand. And we tried Hello Bello, we tried, what else did we try? I don't know, we've tried a bunch of brands. And the Huggies, they were just the best for him, just for his body type and everything. I feel like those are the closest to Huggies and I may even like him better, but are the same. I don't know, they're just really great. So I love the Kirkland's brand diapers and they're cheaper, so it's great all around. Okay, also from Costco, we got these winter gloves, everybody. <laughs> uh, and they have, look, 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 they have a spider on them. So, you know, I was drawn to, I don't know if you can see the stitched spider on it, but you know, that was a selling point for me. And they're black and they're super warm and you can use your phone. Uh, we needed gloves for shoveling snow and all that kind of stuff. So we got ones that Dallas and I could share. Okay, last but not least from Costco, I got this coat and try it on. And I have like a puffer coat that's super oversized but I don't have one where it's more fitted and it also has where you can snatch in that waist if you want to. Look at that fashion. So anyways, that's what we got from Sam's and Costco. And we also did a little Christmas shopping, but I'll show you that kind of stuff later. But yeah, here we are. So today, by the way, let me take off this coat, although it's really nice and toasty, I'm not gonna lie. So anyways, today, what are we doing today? We are gonna go see Santa, y'all. We are going to get some professional pictures taken with the Santa Claus today. And I'm hoping Lucian cooperates and I'm hoping I timed it correctly because I tried to time it with his naps and nothing ever goes as planned. So I'm just hoping for the best with the situation, but it's only gonna take like five minutes and it's a photo with Santa. And I feel like, 
you only get one first Christmas. So we're going to get a photo with Santa. We thought about going to the mall, but I feel like the photos at this place, they're going to be much better because they're professional photos. So I want to get a good professional photo with Santa Claus. So we're going to go do it. So I got to go start getting ready. And then, yeah, that's what we're doing. So uh, I'll see you when I see you. His hat's not even on his head. I know. Those are cute. These? Do they have crib ones? Oh, these are not cribs. That's cute. <laughs> Thank you. Peppermint bar. Coffee capsules. Maybe these are small ones. How do you, what do you mean? Does it say what's compatible for? Mm. Did you see Santa? Did you see Santa Claus? You did. You saw Santa. Did he say, oh, oh, oh. Who'd you see? Who'd you see? Good morning, Lucian. About to call my mom. And, oh, get your toy. About to call my mom and see how she's doing. It is, oh, I probably should turn off that white noise machine. Um, but it is the one year anniversary of my grandpa's passing. And so I was gonna call and cheer her up and see how she's doing. And let me turn this off there. So that's what we're gonna do right now. But I'm not gonna film it. Well, just in case my mom's upset for one, but also I'm gonna be using my phone which I'm filming on right now. So, oh, I know, bud. But while he's in a happy mood, we're gonna call her so we can maybe cheer her up a little bit. So, all right, I'll see ya when I see ya. Good morning. Did you have a good sleep? We are, we just got off the phone with my mom. She's doing really well, surprisingly. She told me after getting through all the first, like the first Christmas with Adam last year, his first birthday, first like all the different holidays and stuff like that, Getting through all that, all the first without my grandpa has been, and her dad has been like, that part was the hardest part. And now that we're through one year and all the firsts are done, she's just, she's, you know, she misses him every day, she was saying, but it's just, it is like, it's not the first of everything. It's not the first Christmas he won't be here. It's not that, you know what I mean? So all things considered, she was doing well. I'm sure it's gonna be a roller coaster of a day for her, but I figure we call and Lucian can give her a little smile and make her feel good about the start of the day. And he did just that. He is such a ham when it comes to his grandparents. Like as soon as his grandparents smile, he gives this thousand watt smile that makes them melt every time. I'm like, you know what you're doing, sir. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. Oh, we're putting up the tree today. I'm hoping to put it up during one of Lucian's naps today. And then, we can turn the lights on tonight for him and he can see it for the first time. I mean, I and we can all see it. This is a brand new tree we got. I haven't even done a Christmas decor haul. Should I just do a Christmas decor haul right now? Let's just do it. Well, first, actually, we'll do a Christmas decor haul here in a second because I wanted to show you. I want to make some coffee. And we got some. I wanted to do a haul showing you the things we got. We took Lucian to go see Santa, which, by the way, I didn't even, I don't even know why I didn't mention this. But we kind of fell off the face of the planet yesterday. Uh, it went well until it didn't. I'll show you the pictures. You've got to see the pictures because he was loving it. Well, not loving it. He was just being a little serious. Like he was just kind of sitting there hanging out at first with Santa. We didn't get one smiling picture. I'll put that out there. But that's okay. It was a cute picture. And his little outfit, by the way, Dallas's mom got him this uh plaid red plaid hat and matching pants and this red sweater he looks like a little man or like a little golfer like i don't even know but it's so cute that he had to wear it with santa this outfit you guys are gonna die one photo was him being kind of serious and then he looks up at santa we didn't get that photo but he looks right at santa and then he loses his mind and starts crying and they got the photo don't worry we went and gathered him and and calmed him down. He wasn't that upset about it. He was just kind of, he just, I think was just more confused. He's like, this isn't my grandpa. This isn't my mom or dad, you know? So he's crying. I feel like every baby has a crying, well, not every baby, but a lot of babies have crying Santa photos. And I feel bad, you know, but then you also like laugh a little bit because you can't help but like, you know, it's supposed to be a cheerful photo and he's just screaming, you know? 
um, which was two seconds. So don't sit here and be like, I can't believe you made him cry for these photos, blah. Like, no, he, he looked at him, he was doing fine. He was having no problems. And then he started crying and we grabbed him and consoled him. And then he was fine for the rest of the time. And we left and went shopping and he was happy and smiling. So anyways, after we went to see Santa, we went to Pottery Barn Kids. They had some cute Christmas stuff, like sheets and stuff, but they didn't have any crib sheets, so we didn't get anything. And then uh, we went over to Williams Sonoma, and I haven't been in Williams Sonoma in literal years. And they had some of these. So you know, I have my Nespresso machine. They had some of these cups, like these little Nespresso cups, and but it's like their brand, the Williams Sonoma brand. And uh, they had this peppermint bark flavor. So I'm gonna try this. They also had like a whole blend. So then you know we had to get this too because we're total nerds about this. Has caramel macchiato, Irish cream. I don't know what the other ones are. And salted caramel. Sounds delicious to me. We also got this tin. Look at this. This tin of dark chocolate peppermint bark. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a bite. Even though it's not breakfast food, but for me it is breakfast food because this stuff is so good. So we got some, oh my gosh, it smells good too. We got some peppermint bark. And we went to Home Goods. Let me show you what I got from Home Goods. They have your Valentine's stuff out. Excuse me. I found this Joanna Parker mug. Look how cute this is. It's a Valentine's Day Joanna Parker mug. This is so cute. I'm so excited about this. Anyways, that's what we got while we were out yesterday. If you hear uh, Lucian jabbing his jaws upstairs, babbling. Let me make this coffee. I'm going to try this pepper. Oh! Peppermint bark stuff. All right, what spooky mug of the day are we going for? I wanna maybe do the ghosties. What do you think? Ghosties it is. What does it say? Spooky vibes. We're into that. Wait, did I already put the thing in? All right, cheers everybody. First sip of the day. Hot, but good. All right, here everyone, we're back. It is cold, it's rainy. We've got our comfy clothes on and I'm gonna put up this tree. We're doing it today, tonight, somehow. Even if we have to do it in phases, we're doing it. Before I get that out, I wanted to do a holiday haul because I had set some stuff out to put in a haul and I never got around to filming it. Better late than never, right? Let me go get this stuff, BRB. Okay, here we are. First up, got some, oh God. We're just, things are falling all over the place. I got a couple of kitchen towels. I think I showed this in my Thanksgiving vlog, but I got this, uh, a couple of Joanna Parker towels actually. I got this Santa Claus one, which is so cute. And I thought this was a skull, but it's a snowman. Slightly disappointed, but it's all right. And then uh, this guy here, this red one with the snowman, thought this was really cute too. Also got this. <laughs> This is the most obnoxious thing ever and I'm so excited about it because my mom has one of these and I love it. It's this Santa toilet cover and rug. So the toilet has the Santa face and then the rug is the body and it looks like that on the toilet. We're gonna put this on, don't worry. Uh, then got this blanket. I think I'm giving this to Neens for Christmas, but it's this super soft fleecy blanket. You know how much she loves fleecy blankets. And this one's festive, it has trees and dogs and Santa hats and ornaments and presents and more dogs with Santa hats. And it's the perfect festive blanket for needs. Uh, I got this at Walmart, by the way. This is from Walmart. And this Santa with, I don't know what this is on it. The Santa toilet situation is also from Walmart. And then these towels were from Home Goods. I forgot to mention that. Anyways, moving on quickly, quickly. So I get to this tree. Uh, got some things from Bath and Body Works. Just got some hand soaps because they were having a sale. I got a couple of these crushed candy cane lane. That's what it is. Crushed candy cane lane. Yes. Soaps. These foam, foaming foam soaps. I don't know what they are. And, uh, got two of these. And then I got this guy, this cookie butter, cookie butter truffle. This one. And this one here. Tis the season. I love this packaging. I think that's so cute. Love a little Santa on there. And I got another one of the Tis the Seasons, but it's already out. So I uh, got these. And from Target, I got these Christmas Kleenexes, these Santa ones and these gingerbread people ones. Also from Target, I got this black velvet tree. I don't know if you can see the texture in there, but there's this really cool texture to it. 
I love this thing. I wish they would have had two of them, but they only had one left and I snagged it as quickly as possible. Then from Aldi, let me grab these. From Aldi. So last year from Aldi, I got the big reindeer, the big metal reindeer. This year, I got the smaller kind of metal reindeer. These are a dupe. Are they Pottery Barn or Crate and Barrel? I can never remember. I think they're Pottery Barn maybe. I don't remember. But these are the dupes to those reindeer and they're black and they're metal, which you know, I love the combination. So I've been using this. Uh, I put them up already on my mantle, but I just took them down to show you. Also, why am I out of breath from running around, I guess? Also from Aldi, I got this cable knit throw, this red cable knit throw. I haven't even unraveled it yet because I was saving it for the haul that never happened. Uh, but it's super soft. Might as well take it apart now. Like the softest of sock. Actually, between Neens and Lucian, they're going to steal this thing. Last thing from Aldi, I got this sign. I needed a big sign for my In Your Face Christmas bathroom. I feel like I can find something better than this. But they had this at Aldi and it was a steal of a deal. So I snagged it. It just says, have yourself a merry little Christmas has a tree. It's pretty simple, but it's pretty big. And that's what I needed. And then you can flip it over and it says a whole other thing on the back. I don't know what it says. From Joann's, I got this in your face Santa wall decor. I'm putting this in my in your face, I almost said Halloween, in your face Christmas bathroom. Okay, also from Joann's, I got a couple of plates. And napkins, I think. Did I get napkins? Yes, I did. For when my family comes over on Christmas, I got the Santa on a sleigh with his reindeer kind of situation, classic Christmas. And then uh, this in your face Santa napkin situation. And last but not least, I got this big old tree from Home Depot. We're going to put it up. And uh, I almost got the black one. You know, the black flocked one I've been drooling over for literal years from at home. I, I'm, I am gonna get my black tree eventually, I'll get it. But this one was the same price or maybe even a little less expensive than the black one. And it has twinkle lights that change colors and the whole thing. This tree, it just, I walked into Home Depot, I'm not gonna lie, and it just couldn't stop thinking about it. I came home and I was like, this tree at Home Depot, it is beautiful. So we're gonna set it up and see how it goes and we're gonna see how Lucian reacts to it. Okay, so this is the tree right here. It's called it's the seven and a half foot starry light is what it's called. Uh-oh, Lucian's getting upset. We might have to reconvene, BRB. So I thought about putting, I normally put my tree over in the corner. I don't know why it looks so yellow in here. I don't know if it's looking like that on camera. Might be a little dark in here. It's all cloudy and rainy right now, which is the perfect weather to just curl up in a ball and sleep all day. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna build the tree is what we're doing. I was gonna put it over in the area I normally have it over in the corner, but I thought this year because this tree has the most beautiful lights, like seriously, the lights, I feel like the lights are what sold me on this tree. If it was black, it would be my dream tree, but it's, it's not black, that's okay. The lights are so worth it. They're just so magical that I wanted to put it in front of this window right here. Open the blinds and then uh, people can see the sparkling lights. We can share the magic with the neighbors. But also, I just feel like it's going to be so magical for Lucian on his first Christmas. Not that he'll remember, but you know what I mean? Uh, but who knows? Maybe one day he'll ask what his first Christmas is like. And we can show him what it looks like. Um, box this insert and thread clockwise a single eye bolt screw oh great do we have a screw in here where's the screw do we have to have our own screw i don't know what a freaking eye bolt freaking eyeball screw is <laughs> wait what's this okay maybe it comes with the stand Oh, I know what that is. Okay, I get it. Oh, my only qualm with this flock tree is the mess it's gonna make, I think. I don't know if it's actually gonna make a mess. I hope it doesn't. But, let's see. That's to be determined. What, we, what was it again? Fold open the tree stand. Fold open. Fold it. How, where does it fold? Oh, there, got it. Like that? Bingo. Where's the center? Place the pointed end of section A into the tree stand. Oh, tighten the eye bolt. Dang, I already tightened it. You tell me now, people. And guide the branches downward into place. Okay, where's A? That would be helpful. What number is, or letter is this? Where are the letters? This has got to be A. 
Where is even the letter at? Oh, Lord. Hey, put this in here. Lord help us. Oh, wait, shoot. That fell out. That fell out. That's supposed to be in. No. I feel like this is already a disaster, everybody. Okay, is this A? Now I've lost my train of thought. A. This has got to be A. Lord. If I survive this, it's going to be a freaking miracle. I'm like Clark Griswold over here. Wait, what do I do? Like, how do I, oh, God. That's B and that's C. Well, let's look at the directions. I'm not trying to mess this up. It says to let the branches down easily or lightly or I don't know what word. What was it? Gently. And this looks already fluffed, which saves a lot of time not having to fluff it. Plus, when it's flopped, I feel like the part that gets messy is when you have to fluff the thing. You know what I mean? Oh wait, was I supposed to keep this? Shoot! Lucian's up there laughing. Oh, this has a step light? That's even better. Okay, now here comes B. Ow! Pinched my finger in between the plastic pieces. That hurt. Neighbor dogs are barking because they left them out in the rain, which I feel so bad. Like, let your dogs in. It's raining. I mean, the thing is, their house is just going to be soaking wet, so that's on them. But also, like, it makes me feel bad for those dogs every single time. Ugh, this is beautiful. Just beautiful. How's it looking? Good? Maybe it was a bad idea to put it here in the middle of the living room, but I don't have no regrets. I might move this ottoman to the other side, though. Final piece, I've got flocking on me. This actually isn't shedding that bad. I may have over-exaggerated about it. It's really not that bad. All right, here's the top. Okay. How does it look? I feel like this is great. It's really not shedding that bad because it's already pretty much fluffed. So I feel like the fluffing is where you get the shedding, but it's really not bad. There's not really any on my floor, which I was afraid it was just gonna shed everywhere, but it's not bad. Dang, this tree is so freaking pretty. All right, I don't wanna plug it in until we're, hey babe, will you bring Lucy down? Will you bring him down? Cause we're gonna light up the tree, you want him to see. <gasps> Hi, look, yeah. Is it fluff enough? Well, what, we can always fluff it more. Or is it just uh, more like the bottom? Oh, it's just cause we don't have a skirt. Yeah, well, I'll get a skirt out here. You want to come see a tree, Bubba's? <laughs> Sorry, Bubba's. Come here. <gasps> Look, bud. Wait, let's turn off the lights. Look at the tree. There's a big gap here. I need to figure out. Look. Dad is going to turn it on and we're going to see it light up. What are you doing? What'd you get him? You can do the Clark Griswold. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Wow, bud. So what does this do? I love the flocking on this one because it looks like the lights just, I don't know, it looks tree. like the whole tree is glowing. I love That's the twinkle. twinkle. I love the twinkle. Can you turn down the intensity or does it just stay like that? I think it just stays like that. He loves it. Look at him. I'm going to move his legs. What is that? Wait, is there a... I like that. Well, that's the. No, I mean how it like. Slow fade. Oh, you like the. Slow fade. That it goes from co different colors. It's a background. Wow. We can push it back a little bit. No, but. Tell me when. Cool. Okay, you want. You can go a little more. You can keep going. Okay. Right there? Mm hmm. Christmas tree, Christmas tree, where are you? Here I am. Hey, buddy. Do you like your tree? Yeah. Do you like your tree? That tree's nice. He's kicking. Okay. <laughs> uh, in his vlogmas day 16, yesterday was Lucian's seven month birthday. Where currently it's one of those days. It's one of those living in a robe kind of days. It's gloomy. It's dark. It's, it's, I don't think it's been raining, but it's gloomy and dark out there. 
So we've just been kind of, I've been editing a lot today and just hanging out and that's kind of what we've been doing.